This method is about the Westergren method used in erythrocyte sedimentation rate, or ESR. ESR is the distance in millimeters that the red blood cells fall in one hour. The principle of the test is, when anticoagulated blood is allowed to stand at room temperature undisturbed for one hour, the red blood cells would fall to the bottom of the tube, leaving a clear plasma on top. The Westergren method is the method recommended by the International Council for Standardization in Hematology and the Clinical and Laboratory Standards Institute. A modification of the Westergren method changed the anticoagulant used to EDTA. Most commonly used method today is the modified Westergren method because EDTA blood is readily available in most laboratories. Although, some laboratories still prefer the original Westergren method using 3.8% sodium citrate as the anticoagulant. Materials for the Westergren method Westergren tube or pipette This tube is open on both ends. A Westergren tube was originally made of glass with the following specifications, as specified by the CLSI. It is a thick-walled glass with an overall length of 300 mm, blood column length of 200 mm, external diameter of 5.5 mm, tube bore of 2.5 mm. The markings on the tube are numbered from 0 at the top to at least 180 at the bottom, with increments of 10 mm or less. Recently, disposable Westergren tubes are preferred. This is one example of a disposable Westergren tube. This pipette is graduated from 0 to 180 mm and features a unique fibrous plug located at the zero mark. This is another example of a disposable ESR pipette with a graduation of 0 to 150 mm, increments of 1 mm. It comes with its own tube containing 3.8% sodium citrate. Westergren rack or tube holder. The rack to hold the Westergren tubes must not allow leakage from the pipettes. It must be held motionless in a vertical position and ensured to be within plus minus 2 degrees. Specimen. For Westergren method, whole blood is collected into 3.8% sodium citrate using a specially prepared vacuum collection tube. No further dilution is performed when using this type of specimen. For the modified Westergren method, it uses EDTA collected blood, and dilutions should be made before testing. Combine 2 ml of well mixed EDTA anticoagulated whole blood with 0.5 ml of 0.8% sodium chloride or 0.5 ml 3.8% sodium citrate. Procedure using a reusable glass, Westergren tube. Pipette anticoagulated blood to the zero mark of the Westergren pipette. Place the tube in the sedimentation rack with clamps that hold the lower end of the pipette tightly against a rubber mat in a vertical position. Ensure that the rack is level. Allow the pipette to stand undisturbed for one hour at room temperature. Procedure using a disposable plastic Westergren tube. For the first type of disposable pipette shown earlier, simply remove the cap of the evacuated tube and insert the Westergren pipette in a vertical position. Blood will automatically fill the rest of the pipette up to the zero mark. The plug is specifically designed to be a self-sealing aerosol barrier that stops blood from escaping through the top of the pipette. Let it stand undisturbed for one hour. For the second type of disposable tube, blood is collected into the specified line of the tube and placed on the rack provided. Puncture the tube with the ESR pipette and push down until blood reaches the zero mark. Let it stand undisturbed for one hour. At the end of one hour, record the distance in millimeters that the red cells have fallen. Read the tube from the bottom of the plasma meniscus to the top of the column of sedimented erythrocytes. Do not include the buffy coat in the reading. This reading is the ESR result in millimeters per hour. If the area of red blood cell plasma separation is hazy, Read the level where the full RBC density is apparent. The normal values for using the Westergren method are 0 to 15 for males aged 0 to 50 and 0 to 50, 20 for more than 50 years old. 0 to 20 for females aged 0 to 50 and 0 to 30 for more than 50 years old. 
The reading for this tube is 30 millimeters per hour. And this tube gives a reading of 52 millimeters per hour. That ends our discussion about Westergren method. Thank you for listening.